Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Delaware Scorched Excavated for Esvisceration. This is going to be the Hymns from the Cellar demo, actually. Four tracks of just fucking just so good. I'll put the links below and stuff. If And you have the 2015 demo on the B-side. But if you have heard the new song off the new record, holy shit. I just, I cannot fucking wait. It is just beyond crushing. Just Scorch is one of the best fucking bands around. Delaware Death Metal. These guys are pretty local. I do get the, I'm lucky enough to be able to see these guys. And Outer Heaven a lot, who got picked up by Relapse. Both bands so deserving of being on some sick labels and it's just awesome to be able to see these guys live like i know they're going to be touring a lot more in the near future just because that new album trust me it's gonna be fuck yeah but another amazing 20 buck spin slab of death metal right here and speaking of which this whole entire review and whatnot goes out to Dave and Vicky at 20 Bucks Spin for not only making it possible, but for just releasing some of the best death metal in 2018 and probably since 2016. I know last year was sick, but like this year it's like, oh my fucking god, like holy shit, especially when it comes to 20 Bucks Spin. And this was something that kind of blindsided me, but I pre-ordered it immediately because I loved uh, the mini LP. And that's Extremity, Coffin Birth. Fuck yeah, and fuck you, the USPS, for losing my package. But anyways, Extremity, in case you did not hear, extremely fucking dead. Play pretty straightforward yet really fucking awesome death metal. Definitely in vain of like autopsy and whatnot, but also with their own fucking flair to it. Awesome, awesome lyrics. I mean, you have Melissa Martinez from Cretan, you have members of Vastum, even a dude from fucking Aglock and stuff on here. It's shit's cool. But, um, yeah. Coffin Birth is just one of those records that's like, holy shit, this is awesome. The first time I played it through, like, with the opening track with, like, the organ and stuff, I was like, whoa, like, this is awesome. And then as soon as, like, the riffing kicked in, I was just like, oh my god. Thank you so much for, like, getting this into my hands because I was stressing it. I was like, oh man. I'm not going to be able to, like, you know, get a copy or, like, review it. And so fucking happy that I have this in my hand right now. Like, you have no idea, like. But when it comes to, like, even the cosmetic layout of this record, like, not even talking about the music, it's fucking gorgeously filthy. And I love it in that way. Like, even... Like, the color and stuff is just gnarly as fuck. Because cosmetically and whatnot, it matches up so well with the actual artwork and stuff. Which is, in my opinion, the only reason to buy colored vinyl is, you know, it better match up with everything else or what's the point. But I wouldn't mind having this on black, but luckily, you know, it... I got the colored version and everything matches up and looks sick as fuck when it's spinning. I just think, you know, when a record label goes that much out of their way to make a band's record look and, you know, sound as good as it possibly can be, it's like, fuck yeah. Because some record labels are like, you know what, like, yeah, yeah, we'll put out your record, and you get it in the mail, and it's, like, some cheap cardboard, and there's, like, you know, no extra shit in it, or anything along those lines, like, this is a demo comp right here, and not to kiss 20 bucks spins ass, but, like, 
If you look at most other record labels that reissue a band's demo, not counting Profound Lore, because they killed it with that Mortifernum uh, demo LP, but back on course with Extremity Coffin Birth. This right here, very, very straightforward yet awesome death metal, because I love straightforward death metal. Like, you know, I, if you watch this channel, you know I love my caveman, knuckle-dragging death metal, like, more than, like, most styles of death metal. And Extremity do it very, very well, but also add their own unsettling flair and just awesome atmosphere to their music. And Call From Birth is no exception. Like, the way things start, start off with the title track, right into A Million Witches, Where Evil Dwells, Grave Mistake, Umbilicus, for want of a nail that has Anti from Demilic on it, and it is fucking sick. Like, just that track is just, like, awesome. It starts the B-side off, and it's just like, whoa, this is fucking rad, like... And, uh, goes into Ascision, Like Father, Like Son, which is my personal favorite track on here. And then, uh, Misbegotten and Into Coffin Death, which I love the way everything flows. It's just one of those releases that... I can't find anything about it that it's like, ah, well, it's sick, but, nah, everything about this is fucking awesome. Like, yeah, the lineup's a tiny bit different from the mini LP. I think because Erica's so busy with, like, Skull X, uh, I think it might be Painted Dolls. It's, it's a non-death metal project with, like, Chris from Autopsy and stuff. I think they play, like, psychedelic, uh, music, but... I know they played like St. Vitus or like someplace in New York uh, a couple months ago, but anyways, uh, the lineup now, you get uh, Shelby Lermo, Marissa Martinez Hoodley, and Asep Decker. And you need to have your mausoleum photo. I'm pretty sure it's a mausoleum. Fucking A. Extremity is so sick though, like seriously. Definitely when it comes to like death metal in the California Pacific Northwest realm, a great addition to an already stacked roster of insanely awesome, filthy, heavy fucking death metal bands. And Extremity's Coffin Birth just, you know, it's one of those records that yeah, it might be kind of straightforward, but it's to the fucking point. It's awesome. The fucking replay value on here is has already paid for itself probably triple. Like, it's so good. I, I, I just love it. Every track on here, it's just like, yes, 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 yes. But, like I said, Like Father, Like Son is my personal favorite track on here. The way things open up with Coffin Birth, with like the organ, and it's just an awesome release by a band that hopefully keeps continuing to make new music and whatnot, and keeps, you know, killing the underground with their own form of putrid fucking death. And this is just a pure example of just the ears that the folks at 20 bucks spin have because it's just like fuck yeah any other record label could have snagged this bad boy up but dave at 20 bucks spin you know fuck yeah dude definitely has an awesome taste in music and this is complete proof of that and proof that 20 bucks spin when i was a little bit younger i used to look at it just as like a kind of doom label like I remember they like had like a Stormcrow split, uh, like Asunder and like Graves at Sea had a split. So I always used to look at it kind of as like that type of label. And then I remember they did Coffins and I was like, whoa, that's sick. And then it just started getting, you know, a little bit gnarlier and gnarlier and they got started getting more death metal bands. And then before you know it, it's like, holy shit. I have every release you guys put out so far in 2018 and that's a like seriously that's something that 
normally I would be like, ah, I don't really like, like, just out of, you know, numbers and I'm trying to think of the fucking word, but I'm an idiot. <laughs> Averages, <laughs> like, you would, you would think that on average out of however many releases they put out this year, there's going to be one that I'm like, eh, but... No, no, even the new Dead Bird, I'm like, holy fuck, this is sick. And when they play, like, seeing Dead Bird live again, like, I got to play with them 12 years ago. They fucking killed it at Migration Fest. But I would love to see Extremity live. Like, I don't know if that would happen here on the East Coast outside of, like, you know, Maryland Death Fest or, you know, hopefully Decibel Metal and Beer Fest can maybe get these guys over here. That that would be awesome. Getting to see these men and women just fucking crush it in Philadelphia. But an amazing release on 20 Bucks Spin Records here. If you like death metal and you like your death metal fucking from the grave, you can't go wrong here with Coffin Birth. And we were blasting Scorched. The uh, Hymns from the Cellar demo off the Excavated for Us Visceration comp here, which is fucking amazing. Again, 20 bucks spin, just, you know, killing it when it comes to the death metal game right now. And releasing a demo comp, like, it's fucking sick. And most record labels wouldn't do something like that for a new band, and it's just awesome to see it done and done so fucking well and as always thanks for watching you guys fucking rule Hells.